Well, hey guys, what's up? What's going on out there today? Yep, Brent Abel here, webtennis.com. A quick message for you. And the title of this one is, The Top Players Are Nothing More Than Problem Solvers. And what I mean by that is I think we too often either become indoctrinated by other teaching pros or coaches that say that, well, you know, if you really want to compete at a higher level, you got to spin the ball more, right? you got to have a heavier, a more massive topspin. You've got to have a topspin backhand. You've got to have a, whatever it is, right? And if you watch the top players, their stroke technique, their swing tech, typically there's not anything that's just like unbelievable. They're, you know, average on sort of everything in, in terms of swing tech. But what they do really well is their problem solvers. Where that starts is they probe and they find out, oh, that guy over there is really good at X, right? Or that guy over there is eh, maybe okay with this or that. Let me probe to see what kind of results I can get. But I just think that that if you're if you're thinking that the way you become a better player is strictly through getting better swing tech, um, it, it just isn't, and it's just not what I found with those with those top players, with those top guys. They just seem to figure out based on who you are, what your strengths are, what your average stuff is, maybe what a weakness is, and a weakness. Yeah, I mean, it could be you've got a weak shot over there. Okay, why would they give you anything else but that? Right. Or maybe what they found out is that, hey, you don't like to move up and back. So they're going to lull you into a few deep balls and then play a drop shot, make you move in and hope you get to it. Right. And then lob over your back end, make you move that way. Maybe they find out that you're better from playing from the corners. Right. And so they don't give you any shots to the corners. They play balls right down the middle. They give you they give you shots to certain parts of the court that, number one, at worst, keep it neutral, but maybe a lot of the time yields uh, some offensive opportunities for for them. So you got to become a problem solver. you got to figure out those, those things over there of what does the guy basically want you to give them and what does the guy basically not want you to give them. And once you figure that out, you don't need massive topspin. You don't need to make the ball rotate like Rafa. You don't need that stuff, right? You just need to find out what it is they want and then what it is they don't want. And once you do that, then you become a problem solver. You start to win more matches, especially those close matches. And look, if you haven't already done so, here's what I encourage you to do. If you're having problems, where you're struggling at the end of sets or you're struggling at the end of matches because you're getting way tighter then or way more anxious then. I'm not going to use the word choke, but that's kind of what happens, right? As we start coughing up leads at the end of those times, the sets and matches. And if you haven't already taken a look at what has helped me overcome that stuff, and it's really getting down to are you winning more of your close matches, right? I mean, the top guys out there who are way better than you are, you're probably not going to beat them for quite a while. The players who are a lot weaker than you are, not as skilled as you are, you're going to beat them every time, right? So really it gets down to how are you doing with those, with those opponents who are really at the same skill level that you're at. And for a while, it's probably 50-50, right? You're winning half the time, they're winning half the time. So the way you start to move the needle, the way you start to become a better player, a better player is rather than going 50-50 with those guys, now you're starting to go 60-40, right? Now you're winning 60% of the time. And most of the reason that happens is right up here, is how you think. Not only is how you think between points, but is some mindset training that for me this past year, 2023, got me over the hump with those guys that I just was never really sure that I could get past. I now know I can. I'm not saying it's a guarantee. I'm not saying I'm going to win every time, but I'm saying I'm going to win more often than I did before. And the results I've had this year um, are, are proof of that. So look, 
if you haven't checked it out yet, go over to webtennis.com uh, forward slash SLR5 habits. There's a link down below. You can just click it. It'll take you over there. And um, you'll get access to, you know, checking out what I've got for you in this course. It's basically five habits I've come up with. They take about five, six, seven minutes a day. And the course is designed for a 28-day run. And um, yeah, I, I just think that it's the missing piece for, for most players out there. So if you haven't already done so, go ahead and go on over there and take a peek at it. Any questions, you can always uh, shoot me an email, brent at webtennis.com. And as always, it's now time. Yeah, we got to get out there. We got to help someone else have a spectacular day. Guys, see you again next time.